Hello, so you've got yourself a bass guitar, you've been playing it for a long while, and you've decided that you need to change the strings. Well, me too. So let's change them together, and let's get your bass with nice fresh new strings up and running. Okay, so first things first, what do we need? We need, of course, a new set of strings, a tuner, a pair of wire cutters. It's going to come in handy because you're going to have to actually cut parts of the strings. And of course, some items to clean our bass guitar with. Oh, and in case you're wondering why I've got a book here, the bass has a break angle in the neck, so I can't actually place it flat on the floor because it'll be pushing up on this. So I've got the book there just to give it a bit of elevation and keep it up nicely. So first things first, all we want to do is we want to get the strings off. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to go in gung-ho and just start snipping the strings off because they're going to fly at you and it's going to be not particularly pleasant. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply detune the bass. Now you can use a actual string wind if you've got one. Uh, I do, but I always forget to bring it with me and I always just use my fingers anyway. You're just going to keep loosening it, keep loosening it, keep loosening it until we can pull the string off. So let's zoom over to the actual headstock and show you what to do next. So now our string is very loose here, it can actually come out of the uh, nut slot. We're going to loosen it. And if you have a look at the tuning peg here, you see that the string will go around like this and then actually into the top there. So we can either actually pull it around like this or we can just lift it from the inside and the whole thing will come out like that. And once you've done that to all four of your strings, you've taken them off, you want to get them all like this. Now as you might see, I've, only, I've got two of them missing because actually I didn't realise my camera wasn't recording. And what we want to do is actually want to snip off these ends. So what I'd do is I'd take my wire cutters now and be careful, these do tend to fly off, so wear glasses or protect your eyes. Put it around the end near where this coil is now taking place and oh, cut it off. It's quite stiff, that's why I'd absolutely recommend something like wire cutters rather than you know anything silly like scissors. Oh, takes a bit of strength. But there you go. Now you probably want to try and gather these up because of course you don't want to step on them but you want to keep those together so you can properly dispose of them. So now I've got all four of our strings with their heads taken off. Now put it through the bridge. So here we are on the other side of the instrument. We've got the, uh, the bridge here. Most of the time the strings will go through this little plate here. So if I push this string back you can see it's going through here. Some people have it where it'll come through holes on the underneath here. It's the same process but rather than pushing it through this hole you'll just push it down and pull it out like that. There you get the, uh, these are called the ball ends of the strings. And you're just going to take them and just Pull them through like that. So we're going to do the same for the others, so just push it through. If it gets caught, that's okay, just pull it through when you can. So now I've got all our strings off, we have one more little thing to do before we actually put the new strings on. And that will be to clean our instrument, of course. So get your cleaning supplies ready and uh, get to work wiping it down, giving it a good clean. Uh, this I've got here is actually a lemon oil, which is used for guitars and basses with roasted fretboards. I've got a video up on my channel about that if you'd like to take a look at that. But if you go off and clean your instrument, then we're going to go to the next part, which is actually putting the strings back on. There we go, now that it's lovely and clean, let's get the new strings on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start off with the deepest one, the E string, the 105 gauge. So take it out, uncoil it, make sure it doesn't flick you in the eye, you definitely don't want to have that. Then we're going to go over to the bridge. So same as before, we've got a little hole here, we're just going to place it through that hole, and then make sure it goes over, not under the bridge saddle. Once it is, we're just going to pull it all the way through. And yep, it's going to make a lovely noise. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it all the way to, and what I like to do is I like to measure it up to the next tuning peg. Well, I always go a little bit longer. Get our things. This is the point of no return, and we're going to cut it. There we are. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it, see the little slab there? There's a hole in the centre. We're going to place it all the way through until it goes into the hole. Then we're going to try and wrap it round so it's wrapping around clockwise like that and pull it this way. You don't want it to go the other way. If it does, just re-pull it the other way. I'm going to hold it there and I'm going to start tuning it. And once again, you know, you, you, if you start turning the wrong way, it's going to start wrapping this way. If it ever does, just, it's okay, don't panic. It might feel like it's dented a bit, but just turn it back around and hold it back in place. What we want to make sure you're doing is actually pushing it down like this, because as it calls around, every new coil wants to start at the bottom. With my hand here, I'm just making sure it goes into the nut slots. Pull against you a bit. They're quite strong, these strings. Keep holding it, keep it turning, keep it going. Again, just making sure that every new coil is at the bottom and eventually it starts going in place and we should start so if you can quite hear that on camera we've got a note so our string is on and what I want to do at this point is actually get out my tuner and we're going to start with tuning the first note there we are and now for the next strings. So once again, same thing as before, we're simply going to grab the next string in our pack, pull it out over the bridge, I'm going to take it, put it through the next hole, make sure it goes over the bridge saddle, pull it all the way through and over the other end, 
measure it out. Now, a lot of people will use like a fender style instrument where there's uh, four tuning pegs in a row. So for that's a little bit easier to do it sort of just to the next one, then maybe a little bit further. Cut it, and then same as before, wrap it into the top, pushing it right in, then calling it round, and then turn. start getting a note. So once again the tune is going to go on. If you haven't ever used fresh new strings before, you might realise that the strings are actually going to start going out of tune quite frequently. I'm going to show you a little way to actually make that better in a second. It's just simply due to the woods not being used to being at this tension and also the strings not being used to being at the tension. So they'll, they'll go tense, and they'll loosen, they'll go tense, they'll go loose, they'll go tense, they'll go loose. Eventually they should actually be able to hold their tension. So that's why we're going to keep coming back and tuning our other strings. And we're in tune. On to the next string. So on the bridge I've already done the same thing, but here is where it's going to get a little bit different. So same thing as before, I'm going to measure it out, cut a length of string, and then stick it in place. But this time, rather than wrapping it around to be clockwise, I'm actually going to wrap it around to be anti-clockwise. So we're always going to be wrapping it so it goes inside itself. So this one's going to actually be going anti-clockwise. So I'm going to be anti-clockwise and I'm going to start turning the tuning pick itself clockwise, rather than the other ones where we're doing it all the way around. Otherwise, then we're going to get it sort of bending over this way. It's going to interact with this tuning peg and it'll go on and it'll mostly stay in tune, but the break angle will be a bit off and it'll actually have a problem because it'll be constantly rubbing against the other string. And once again, I've got, got this string up to tension, so I'm now going to tune all of them. There you go, I've got all of the tune, so I'm going to do the same thing for the last string. There you go, once we've got that on, we wanna just tune it back up again, play a little bit and then tune her up again. You realize they're gonna go right out of tune. You're gonna to wanna to tune them, then tune them and tune them again. Then I'll show you a little way we can remedy this. So this is a little thing you can do, which is actually stretching the strings. And now you only do this once, once you've got the strings on and they're new, I'm gonna actually hook my fingers under the strings themselves and actually pull them up like this, all the way along like that, all the way along the fretboard, we'll pull them. This is gonna knock it right out of tune, but what it's gonna do is gonna stretch the strings out, give them the tension they need, because of course, every time we're stretching it and then they're loosening and stretching and loosening and stretching and loosening, eventually it's gonna reach a point where basically the string will actually be able to stay in tune a little bit. Now you do this once, it's gonna stretch them along and then it should work. Like I said, this is gonna put us right out of tune again. Let's go back over to the headstock. And there we are. So these are brand new strings, so they might actually take a little bit more time to make sure they're completely in tune. But other than that, there we are, we've got our bass guitar. Set up and in tune and ready to go. And uh, if you found this video useful or if you enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.